Jamie. And I'm Stefan. And we, and we are... are... We always had a dream to travel Australia. So we packed up our lives and began our adventure in our renovated caravan called Rocket. Be sure to tune in every week to see where our adventures take us next. It is super early. That's what we're doing. 6.30? 6 6.30. Yeah, that's super early. Wait. Uh, to really that's nestle the car, car in there. Yeah, it's like literally like a two car park. If you can even call it that. Should be some pretty nice views at the top. Hopefully not too much effort. <sighs> so early. Some serious wind. Windy! 3.6 return, and we just got to the lookout oh, walk. Nice. Not much elevation. Oh, nice. Done all the elevation? Huh. We've done it all? Yeah. It's, it's, been a, it's been a bloody steep. Whee. Did make it. Oh, it is raining a little bit, so it's a bit hazed out, but you can still see nonetheless. It's probably as good as going to get without de hazing editing. And to tell you the truth, I never edit my videos. I mean, as far as color coding and such, because it's too much work. But yeah, it's nice. Look at that. A little town. Yeah, we've come. Where did we start? We started like down there. Oh yeah, yeah. We didn't start at the marina, did we? It was just above it. What over there? Oh, Jesus! Is that far we walked today? Oh yeah, yeah, right. We started like here. We started like around there. Took us an hour and three minutes, and it's 3.9k, 385 meter elevation. 385 meter elevation. That's not too bad, but we, yeah, we're powering pretty well. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful view. Totally worth it. It was a really nice walk. You don't get a view on the walk, but it's a really nice forest. And it's very overcasty, rainy, so it's it's been nice and cool. Good good breeze as well. It's apparently like 60, 70k winds today, and like the next day and the next day, and you know, for the week at least. Looks like the clouds cleared a bit. What? In a week. Hmm. We're gonna be on that. We're going to Whitehaven Beach and doing a I think it's two nights? Three day cruise. Yeah, we're doing a three day cruise on one of these one of these boats. Like out to Whitehaven like Whitehaven Beach and where where were we going? Apart from Whitehaven no one Beach? Knows. Just and around. Just around like this Cook Island, there's some different snorkel spots. Mm. Over three days. Should be good. How much will it how much did it cost? Six hundred each. And we're mm. gonna share double. So we'll let you know how that goes to yeah, we'll see how it goes. It could go bad, it could be okay. Hopefully it's awesome. I noticed all the pollen on the uh, on the web and I was like, whoa, where's the spider that? Oh my god! Look at the size of that mamma jamma. Woo! I'm on the other side of your web. <laughs> Wait, I want to see He's a big boy. There we go. That's some good focus. It looks so cool. Look at them getting creative. They're just using different words for bonus. Get it? Bloodwood? <laughs> That's good stuff.
sun's just come out, however it's going to be raining again in a few minutes and then it's going to stop again and then we'll go for a ride. But whilst it's raining, the good old Dyson DC V6, I think it is. I've, uh, it's been pretty shitty lately, um, battery's been not holding, holding its charge. So I figured I'll open it up and see what the hell's wrong with it. And it looks like good cell, good cell, shit cell, shit cell, good cell, good cell. So I'm thinking that if it does have a balance board in it, it's messing up. Or it doesn't have a balance board and it's just a BMS to protect for cutoffs, which I'm thinking is probably the case. And these two batteries have come a little bit out of sync. So I'm going to charge them up individually and then I'll see how they go. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm just going to use a cable and my good old battery charger. And just like that, we're charging. Hopefully it's uh, going to be good because all the rest are at like 4.1 and this one's at 3.8 and when it wasn't charging it was at 3.6 so yeah I'll bring those two back up to 4.1 4.2 I'll bring them up to full and then we'll see how they go hopefully they'll all stay in sync after that but we'll see I mean it's been good for like three years so after three years I guess maybe it slowly loses the sync but we'll see otherwise it's 50 bucks for a new one that's not too bad we are whee! finally getting out and about, nice and sunny. Look at that sunniness, wherever the sun is, I don't know. There it is. Hopefully it stays sunny for a while. And we'll explore as much as we can and try and dodge the rain. You know, there's some nice shops and such. Food. Very nice marina, as you can see from the mountain. Nice beach. It's funny, I was like, man, should I try and fly while I'm here? And then there's like massive gust came through. I'm like, oh, nah, maybe not. And it's supposed to be like 60, 70k winds every day. Or gusts, anyway. Uh, we have to come back here sometime when it's not winter, I mean summer. Oh, it's really nice long here. I'm glad we can actually explore a bit of it. Check it out, because the stingers and stuff. So they have a safe pool. Set in the sand. Nice grassy area. Oh, that's cool. Heart of the reef. Check it out. There's like a pool up there, another pool, and then like a kiddie pool. There's like a large amount of pools under the bridge and everything. That's awesome. This is a really nice area. I can see why people like to live here. It's just getting nicer and nicer. That's nice of them. Wheeled device access. Damn, that is nice. So when we go on our cruise, it'll probably be something like one of these guys, something like that. I'm thinking, yeah, I can't see ours. It is really nice down here. I can't believe how windless and like still it is. We're like literally around the corner with like blowing a gale. There's a skate park, although it is very wet. I'll uh, do a little gap jump, maybe that little thing. Oh, what, there's a basketball? That's cool, we should play a game. Oh, I wish it was gravels. I mean, um, this stuff's way better. Oh. I don't know if I'm comfortable dropping down on this with the uh, wetness. Let's see if I can just make it with the little bit I got. Oh, nailed it. Mm. That looks so slippery. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much it for the trails. Unfortunately, fairly short. Um, I think I'm going to ride up the other side, but man, it is it is very pretty. I'll give you that. Look at that beautifulness. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a bit short. I mean, it just needs like a forest side and a beach side, and then it'll be pretty good because it'll be like a forest side. You can ride along the forest on a bit on a trail. Yeah. Really? So Nate's just informed me, the walk that we did this morning, the hikey one, the fairly steep one, that actually connects to the one we did yesterday that had the massive river crossing that we couldn't pass. So you can actually ride from that place we were yesterday all the way to Early Beach. So there is a bit of a forest trail, however it doesn't go, you can't really circuit it, and I also unless you do some highway. 
Mm, probably not. There'll be a bunch of stairs probably in some areas, but not too bad. It's definitely it's definitely possible, especially with a mountain bike. You can just like lift it up a bunch of stairs, or I could probably unicycle it if there wasn't deep ass river crossings that you can't even walk across. But that's pretty good. I kind of wish we definitely gonna have to come back here in like winter or something at some point. Want to get the truck? I found out that I um oh look mangoes or something. I'm not sure actually. It didn't look like a mango tree. I don't know. But um yeah. I found out I can't get a truck license in Queensland without a Queensland license, so I may as well just wait until I get to Victoria. Maybe, I don't know. Cutest boat name ever. Tickety Boo. What an adorable name. <laughs> a lot of pubs and such. Glad we got home when we did. Woo! It is coming down. It's just like coming off the awning. We're definitely gonna have a full water tank. Oh, actually. Oh yeah, and the second battery's going. Have a look, see if the, uh, the water tank is full. Oh, not yet. You should be spitting out of there. Oh, we're not full yet. We'll get there. Sooner than later. This is Lions Bay Lookout. Super windy and rainy again. All those yep. years ago. All those years ago. Camp. Oh, yeah. it's like a good place. Why There's not? a bunch of signs saying no, no camping. camping now, but not Maybe not back in the day. Ago. Was that ten? Was, it wasn't ten years ago. Well, was it? Now, no, oh shit, that's a good point. Ten years ago. Look at that pier. Strained in the water. It's a nice place. It's so windy and crazy weather. So apparently, what was it? There was the cyclone in Kansas or something I heading towards. Low trough or something, and that's why I reckon we're getting the wind. Yeah. I don't think it's a, um, like a cyclone. It was absolutely buffing down last night. And it's been crazy windy ever since we've gone here. This is the walk we're doing today. Check it out. So you go down to Coral Bay and then you walk up to the Beak Lookout. Yeah, should be good. What was it like? 6 k's did you say? 4 k's? Oh, I don't know, what's that? 1.1 1. 1 to 6. Oh, that was nothing. So it's just under 4. It's like 1.7 or so. Commerce, it's not too bad. That's very short. That's nice. What I just found. He's on the tray. Blends in. Apparently, there's like a full on lake coming up that you have to cross. So, I don't know if we'll be able to go all the way, but we'll suss it out. Looks like there's already quite a lot of water filling up right here. It's like a full on lake. Look at that. So I'm guessing that it's going to be fairly large, the water coming up that we have to cross. Hopefully we don't have to take our shoes off, but we probably will. Hopefully we can at least walk across it with no shoes. I guess we'll find out. Unless the lady was talking about the legitimate sea. I haven't seen anything that's unpassable. Look at all this dead coral. Yeah. Such a stormy feeling. Oh, too. Very nice. It's quite a walk, but we made it. Woo, sunglasses go on. Right. Woo, that's windy. Whoa. Better stand more strategic. That's a nice view. There's islands and shit. Yeah, there was no river to cross or anything, so I think that lady was talking about the sea being in. She turned around. It's crazy stuff. She could have just waited two minutes for the water to go back in a bit. Oh, look at these clouds. The shadows on the sea. It's such a tropical looking area. Oh, almost lost my hat. There's another one. Pretty cool looking. Can 
Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Uh, uh, uh. Just casually walking back from the toilet. He's alive? I think I might be dead. I think we have ourselves a dead snake. Yep, that was a big snake. Oh yeah, look at that. Someone shot it in the head. Wow. That's brutal as. Jesus, they shot the snake in the head. That's a big boy. Probably didn't want to get it. Wait, is it eating something? I'm not sure. A bird, maybe? Poor thing. Probably not shot, by the way. Maybe just like smashing the head either way. Either way, it had a big little hole, well, little hole in its head. Poor thing. Just having a bit of explore around, and there's lots of like really nice little areas like this. How nice is that? And loads of pubs and clubs. And it may be small, but it's a really nice little slice. All these jet skiers going out. There's a lot more to go. Yeah, still just exploring around some of the streets. I wonder if this road's actually called like Point of Private Road or it's a private road that they've called Point. <laughs> but look how they build into the mountain. It's pretty cool. I just saw a car before that was trying to get up a steep, steep incline for their driveway and it's literally like <laughs> trying to like get up. It was so steep. It's pretty crazy. Some of these driveways are bloody steep. There's a nice little cut through in Canvale, I believe it is. It's pretty far up though, it's like near the McDonald's. Yeah, it's a lot of water. It's been raining heaps. Keep my eyes open for some massive snakes in the trees. I'm sure there'll be some, uh, not anacondas, I keep thinking anacondas, pythons. There'll be some pythons around here. Yeah, it's very nice. And it goes the other way too, I might check that out after. Interesting, the roads over there, there's like no path to be seen. And the path just like goes straight into the reeds. And it's like a little mini kind of like, oh, that's a lot more of an edge than I thought. A little bit of like a water crossing area. It's not much, it's just like over the, look at that. Hey, where's that? The path just disappears. So strange. I feel like the last few towns have had a lot of these just like, path to just go into the bushes and then like that's it like it's been super overgrown but no end or oh, I mean it just ends somewhere in the bushes it's pretty interesting I see where the other part where the path goes it's pretty nice it goes to like a like lakey thing like a trail around it this is really nice what's the turtles here too I just skate a bunch away unfortunately but you can see them there a couple of turtles a bunch of them there was some like right here, but they ran off when I showed my face. I'm not that ugly at my turtles. Damn Leonardo and Raphael and uh, what's the other one? Donny? I don't care about. Yeah, nice little, nice little trail. I like it. Very nice. I think this will be a good indication of how much it's rained lately. The whole path is drenched. Oh no, my shoes! Ah oh, shit! It was a lot deeper than I thought. It was over the pedal deep. Damn it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it looked pedal deep. I guess it was. Ah, it's rained a lot. All this water just coming out of the grass. Crazy shit. Random jump, yes! Don't break on me! Woo. I'm guessing this is their solution to a massive power outage. It's just a Huge diesel generator. There's another one just up the road as well. Oh, you can't see it from here, but there's the second one. Massive. Just run that to power all the houses. Fix your electric grid, mate. This is pretty much what my days consisted of riding and exploring, and then waiting for the rain to pass, and then riding and exploring. It's just like pockets of rain. There's really high winds, so it just comes and goes fairly quick. I haven't had to wait more than like five, ten minutes, but. Yeah, definitely gotta seek shelter, because when it comes down, it comes down hard sometimes.
There's quite a few of these guys going around. I would like, it'd be so easy to do something like this in Morton. Jet ski tours. I don't know, I think that's just advertising. But that's pretty cool. Looks like it'll be super easy just riding around like Aqueduct Trail. Getting paid. I don't know why they're having an ski and some hot food, but you know. Exploring the other side of uh, keep thinking Townsville Early Beach. So uh, there's some jetty out here. I figured I'd make a little check it out. But yeah, then I've pretty much seen everything and this place is actually pretty small, but it's very nice for the size that it is. So this is the jetty I was talking about. Use jetty at your own risk. That's a uh, little confidence inspiring. Get crap out of me. Uh, it is a questionable looking jetty. Tell you that much. Bit of rope hanging on. Ooh, that seems strong enough. Alright, that's the whole island. Be kind to everyone. Just got some cover. That's some heavy rain. Oh my god. Thank you, Tree, for providing me the cover that I also needed. Woo. So we have set off from um, Early Beach and yeah, the people were really nice. They were like, come back anytime, gave us their phone number and such and um, gave Nay a, what was that close, that shirt thing? A really adorable shirt that she'd never worn, didn't fit her. So she's like, would you like this? Like, And the skirt. Yeah, and the skirt. The skirt doesn't fit, but she's like, if it doesn't fit, give it to the, what's it called, op shop. Uh, the guy also made some homemade coconut jam and gave me some and it's pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. Um, yeah, super nice people. It was awesome meeting them, and yeah, we, I think we'll probably stop in and say hi. And they said they want to give the unicycle shot another shot because the guy did, but not for very long. I might bring my S18, but yeah, we're gonna drop past when we do the um, the cruise thing. So I'll just put it in then, and then uh, yeah, I burnt my finger, and it bubbled up. So I've uh, I've like stuck this on to like compress it so it doesn't like bubble. You know what I mean? It seems to be working. I took it off and it slowly bubbled back out again. So I'm going to just leave it on for a few days and hopefully it's good. But um, yeah, so I just want to say what was going on. 